Hello and welcome to another Prime Demo. Today we're straight in the demo. No office, no workshop, just a pure real life situation and comparing two brands head to head. Today we've got Hitachi's Brushless Impact Wrench up against Milwaukee's M18 Fuel Gen 2 Impact Wrench. These are a common seller for us here at Prime um, and two of the heavyweights that we really sell a lot of between the two brands. So we're going to put it to a real world test today. Earlier in the Milwaukee video we did show you changing the tyre on a Toyota Land Cruiser Prado, but today we're going to put them head to head and see who does a better job and see if there is any time efficiencies or benefits having either Hitachi or Milwaukee. So today we've just got a six stud lug on a 17 inch rim on a Toyota Land Cruiser Prado and uh, we'll see if there's any difference out there between the Hitachi and the Milwaukee. Hitachi does give away 50 newton meters of torque to the Milwaukee one with 250 newton meters in max mode and the Milwaukee being 300 newton meters in its mode 3. So we'll see how they go and we'll let the tools do the talking. See with the Hitachi model it comes with four different speeds as you can see along there there's four different speeds and two different power levels. These are adjusted on the side here so Today we've got a, a fully charged 5 amp battery, we've got it on power mode 4 and impact rating th 3. So that's their highest setting on this tool and give them a real fair shot at this. So These wheel nuts are just as they've been on the car for the last 40,000 kilometres and we're going to take it off and see how we go. So. So there you have it. I had a bit of a struggle to get the wheel nuts off initially, but uh, once we got them going, come off nice and easy. So putting them back on, no dramas, you've got a variable speed control switch, and so you can feed the power on to get the nuts started and then drive it home. So great little option, so we'll see how it goes against the Milwaukee. So the difference with the Milwaukee compared to the Hitachi is that the Hitachi has a pin retaining system, which you've seen in our other videos, is more for if you're having a socket on all day, every day. Whereas the Milwaukee option that we're testing here today has a friction ring. So that's more friendly to changing sockets all the time. So if you're a mechanic or someone who frequents a large range of sockets, not just a construction style where you have one socket all day, every day, this is probably the setting for you. So we've chosen this one out of the Milwaukee range because they have the pin and the ring style. And we've gone for the ring style just for the ease of taking on and off sockets today. So like the Hitachi, it has multiple modes. Down the front here it has mode one, two, three, being about 100 newton meters, 220 newton meters, and then the full 300 newton meters. It also has its auto stop function, so it'll impact for around a second um, once it's tight, and then it shuts the tool off to protect damaging the materials around it. So again, we've got a fully charged five amp hour battery, just so we've got a real clean playing field to go with. So as you can see there, Milwaukee had a slight advantage in removing the wheel nuts as it was a little bit more powerful and didn't have to rattle for as long. But at the end of the day, they're both fantastic products. Whether you're on the Milwaukee battery system or the Hitachi battery system, you've really got two quality products that are brushless, you're going to get more run time, 
better life out of the tool and they're the leading technology from both manufacturers. If you need a little bit more grunt and you haven't got a system already, I'd be preferring the Milwaukee as it has a bit extra grunt and it also it's auto stop feature which I quite like. So at the end of the day they're both fantastic products backed with good warranties, good supplies, 5 amp hour battery so you can get a really long run time out of it. But in this situation I've really just got to give the edge to Milwaukee just on its extra power and a fraction more speed. So that's all for today's demo from Prime Industrial. Be sure, sure to subscribe to our YouTube videos and check out the other tool reviews and demos on our channel. Right, bye for now.